Today I'm tackling a taboo topic that men usually avoid and don't want to open up about. I'm talking about gynecology, G-Y-N, gynecology, so it's anything happening below the belt. So let's get into it. My name is Denwarn Tafa, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe like this video and share it to a friend that you know might need this information the issue with us guys and gynecologists we don't talk about it right women do a really good job in normalizing the conversation around things that they're supposed to especially when it comes to health but us guys we really don't have a place to go to a safe space uh our only place i think about is probably the locker room or maybe the barbershop we don't like to be vulnerable when it comes to health when it comes to hygiene when it comes to sexual health when it comes to intimate health that's something we kind of close off to. So I'm starting off just with a news flash and that needs to get heard and needs to get people talking. When I say people, I mean us men, whether it's with a doctor or a friend or significant other, we need to desperately talk about this, guys. Did you know that we're in a sperm slump, a global sperm slump, a sperm demic? And I'm not trying to be funny, I'm, I'm serious. You know, I'm throwing in the jokes to kind of ease it out. Uh, everybody's hoping for like a reset, a global reset in 2023, but I'm here to sound the alarm. Add falling sperm counts to the list of threats to human survival and a threat to the human race. While it may sound comical or satirical, this is very serious. Without sperm, there will be no con there will be no conception, right? Obviously, and there's data to back what I'm saying. Sperm counts in Western countries have taken a nosedive by more than 50 percent since the 70s. Average testosterone levels of an 18 year old man, young man today, is equivalent to the testosterone levels of a 70 year old man in the early 2000s. And testosterone is the essence of masculinity. It's responsible for muscle strength and mass, beard growth, sex drive, sperm count, and much more. At this current rate, half of men in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and yes, America, North America, will have no sperm by 2045. Yep, you heard it from me first. And that doesn't sit well with me. I hope it doesn't sit well with you. Now, men's problems of, con of conceiving are rising. Erectile dysfunction is also trending up while testosterone levels are toppling. And that's pretty disturbing. Infertility and men's sexual health is already stigmatized and we don't talk about it as it is. So now it's in the negative light, we're definitely not gonna talk about it. So I'm just wondering like, is this an agenda? Is this an attack on manhood? Is this an attack on masculinity? What's going on? How do we tackle this? Now I'm no expert on low sperm count, but man, it looks like there's another crisis south of the border. This is very serious guys. And the sad part of, instead of us reaching out for help, we men will sit quiet and allow pride to blur our judgment. We don't talk about it. First thing every guy needs to do right now, no matter your age, is to go to a doctor or fertility specialist, get blood work done, get your testosterone tested, right? And get your sperm checked. There are even kids that you can order at home and do it yourself. You don't have to necessarily go to a doctor, but I, I recommend that. But testosterone levels, anything under 400 is bad. 400 to 800 is it's okay. 800 plus is really good. For sperm, we, we're supposed to be producing between 40 to 300 million sperm per milliliter of semen. Of recent average is falling down to 20 million. Infertility is at 15 million, so we're five million away from infertility. We definitely need to use the last bit of testosterone and at least fight back, guys. Sperm counts are plummeting largely due to, obviously, the rise of endocrine disruptors and the class of hormone mimicking chemicals found in a lot of stuff that we partake in, from shampoos to TV dinner packaging to fast food. Also our lifestyle factors like smoking, obesity, drugs, diet, stress, alcohol, underwear, and even something as convenient as hot tubs or hot showers. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning to this channel. My name is Warren Tafa. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Tune in for part two, I'll give you guys some successful boosters.